My name is Braden McLean. I am the director of The Chronicles Presents The Nutcracker episode, which is our Christmas episode for season two of WQLN's Chronicles. This all really came about after last year when we did our Christmas episode on Christmas carols. I had the idea of taking, well, since we didn't get to use any of the Nutcracker from last year's, why don't we make this year's episode all Nutcracker, but keeping in the same theme of Chronicles, keeping it very Eerie-centric and tied to specific locations around Eerie. So I started reaching out to different dance companies and eventually found the Lake Erie Ballet Company, um, which with uh, Miss Christina Adelhart. He called me and he was like, so I have this idea and I was told that you're the one that I need to come to, that you're the one who can do this. And I was like, uh, a little bit like a deer caught in headlights, like, okay, let me wrap my head around this, like going from stage to film. And this leaks in. Make sure you're hiding. All right, see cameras. Roll cameras. For this particular performance, we're on vacation in the summer, so this was a little shorter uh, rehearsal time, but the number was put together. So it was about two weeks we got ready for this. So then from there, it just kept going in of what eerie centric things can we keep doing to pull this in? So. For example, how we just shot on the Brig Niagara. And to actually have the battle scene on the Brig, where there's historical, the most magnificent battle in history of Erie, and here we were during the battle scene on the Brig. So that was amazing. these little locations around Erie that can help bring the story of the Nutcracker to life, but with the little twist of it being in our town. And to have all these community groups, community studios come together um, and just show the greatness and all the different locations that we're filming and performing in is just phenomenal. We're here at the the old Mercyhurst Northeast, which is Granite Ridge now, performing, or I should say filming in the chapel we were out in the, the garden with the angel scene. I mean, just the, all the locations that um, Brayden found, it's just, oh my gosh, it just gives me goosebumps. When we do performance for stage, there's a lot more background rehearsals. When it's for film, since we can stop and start quite often, um, it's a little more pressure on film day. Feet get a little bit more swollen and there's a little bit more blisters. On stage, you get, this is it, you know, no stopping.
unique is definitely the opportunity for the students to learn or relearn choreography quickly and then also being able to go through the rehearsal process in a studio that they're very familiar with and then going into a performance venue that they have never experienced before where we had to go over stairs uh, which was an added um, fun hurdle that they did an excellent job with and then also figuring out spacing and then going right into filming right away having five guys in front of them filming them versus an audience where you don't necessarily see everyone's faces. So it was very different in the um, creation process, but at the end they had a really fun time and they really enjoyed it. As a dancer, adjusting is just something that you have to do basically every day. So it was a hard adjustment, especially in the heat, but we just made, made work with the space that we had. I have never danced in a different location. I'm usually in a studio, but like for like, I've never been like, recorded while doing dance. I was a little a little nervous, I guess. Um, it, it's definitely a lot different than performing it on stage. I think the location that we're in right now is pretty beautiful. It's just adapting to a thinner space because we're used to having like six panels instead of three. So that'll be a little bit different, but I think that it's a really nice space for us to use for something like this. As far as any real difficulties that we had, a lot of it has honestly been made easier from season one of people knowing about the show and uh, the show gaining a little bit of popularity within the community so that we can actually reach out to these different areas and be like, hey, we're looking at doing this, we're, we've done the show on Erie, and in season one we were having a lot of difficulty because we didn't have quite that reputation yet, but since we've been able to show off an entire season's worth of good work, uh, which landed us six Emmy nominations a couple uh, months ago. Um, we were able to really be able to contact and get a lot of the locations, and the community has been very, very helpful in making this project come together. So, like, if I, I got a hold of a parent or a dancer, usually the response was, oh, my gosh, this is so cool. Yeah, absolutely. Whatever, we'll make it work. You know, that was usually the response. And I couldn't really be any more grateful for it because we've had an amazing all-star cast of people in front of and behind the cameras coming in to pull this thing together. And I couldn't be more grateful to every person that has come to help me bring this crazy project to life.